What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is Danielle. Nice to meet ya. Make sure to stick around and if you want to, subscribe down below. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Always asking me, hey Danielle, can you make more summer videos? Can you make videos on how to have fun during the summer? Things to do, how to be productive. This is going to be an all-inclusive video, my friends. So get ready. Today I'm going to be talking about a ton of different things you can do this summer, whether it's how to be productive over the summer. Like, because I know that all we want to do is just sit and watch Netflix, but then at the end of the summer we're like, wait, I did nothing. I have tips for you guys on how to actually have fun during the summer. Some easy free things that you can do. Just It's just an all inclusive kind of fun summer deal. So because I want you guys to have the best summer yet and just make the most of it because then we go back to school and we stress. So gotta make summer the best it can be. So without further ado, let's get started with these tips. So my first tip idea is probably one of the most simple ones. Go for bike rides you guys. There is just something about riding a bike that kind of gives you a different perspective than let's say driving a car around town. If you live in an area where there's like a little downtown area or there's a coffee shop nearby or maybe you're close to a beach that you can ride a bike to, ride your bike because it's literally there's so many birds that you can kill with a stone. <laughs> that was weird. Um, you get a workout, number one. Maybe get a tan if you like wear your bathing suit or your tank top while riding around. And three, it's super photogenic and you can take super cool pictures. And I've actually gotten a lot of people telling me like, well, I don't really have a bike, like, I don't know what to do. Boom, I got you. You guys, I just heard about this website called Spin Lister and I think I'm in love, honestly. I think it's the coolest thing ever. It's basically kind of like an Airbnb, if you guys know what that is, for bikes, where you literally can rent bikes wherever you are. So let's say you're on vacation in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and you're like, oh my gosh, I wanna go for a bike ride with my fam. Oh wait, I'm staying at a hotel, I don't have a bike. Boom. You go to Spin Lister and you can literally see anyone that's in your area that's putting their bikes up for rent and you will like you put in like what days you want the bike and then you don't pay until after the owner of the bike has approved like hey like yes you can have it the bike for these days. I just think it's the coolest thing ever and you can like pick which ones you want. They got ones with baskets like it's just it's just people's own bikes that they're like letting people use and I think it's a really great way and like even for you guys you could put your bikes up on the website and people can rent them from you. So I think it's a really cool way to make money too maybe. They mainly do bikes but they also have like surfboards, skis, like all on there. I just think, I just think this is so cool. Like go internet honestly. And literally there's like even if you go internationally they have like bikes listed like in 60 different countries so I mean that's kind of cool. They have all different kinds of bikes too. I'm not super great with bikes, but I know they have like hybrid bikes, mountain bikes, like literally if you're like a racer, like they got them all. I just think this is a super great way to kind of immerse yourself in the culture that you're in. So whether you're in your own town and you don't have your own bike or if you're traveling, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be doing traveling this summer, you can use this bike rental thing. And obviously like if you, let's say you go to like Santa Monica, California and you can like rent those bikes, Spin Lister, it's like half the cost. So I mean, it's just so cost effective and you're not like increasing traffic. So it's like decreasing air pollution. Like there's just so many great things about it. And I just think you would be such a good citizen if you use Spin Lister. I do. I'm going on a road trip and I'm literally gonna use Spin Lister while I'm there because it's like a great way to like use bikes. Like I just, I just think it's so great. So anyways, I will have the link to Spin Lister down below. The link is bit.ly slash Danielle Spin, but with a capital D and a capital S. The link is also down below. Oh, I really think you guys should check it out if you're traveling or anything or tell your family about it. I just think it's a great way and it's so much less expensive and everything like that. So that is tip number one. Tip number two is one of my th favorite things to do over the summer. Um, I do it every summer. Go to the library, go to Barnes and Noble, go somewhere and find your ultimate beach novel. I'm telling you guys, I love a good Nicholas Sparks like beach romantic comedy book like those are so good you guys like I absolutely love beach reads find that one book because during the school year like I I used to read for fun all the time and now I just have no time well now I have time because I'm on summer but during the school year I had to read like novels for English which is great and everything but you know it's so important to still like keep your reading skills up and what's a better way to do that then get a great book and those beach reads you guys get you in the field. Tip number three, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but if you're still in school and you need community service hours, do them over the summer. I'm telling you, we just have so much time. I have been in that situation where, you know, you need to get community service hours done, but then when it comes to the weekend during the school year, you're like, I wanna relax and that's so fair. So why not do your community service hours the summer before your school year so that during the school year you're not you're not stressed and I I like to do community service during the summer because I enjoy it more I genuinely like I have time I can do charity walks I can volunteer at like a thrift store and I just I feel like I have more time and I can genuinely enjoy it more so think about that tip number four is like one of my favorites 
have a photo shoot with friends. I'm telling you guys, one of you and your friends has to have one of your SLR cameras. Grab an SLR camera or even your iPhone. iPhone cameras are like crazy good now, so honestly. And have a photo shoot. I'm telling you, it is so much fun. I I am one for photo shoots. I love taking artsy pictures of my friends. Like we'll like plan it out. We'll like do one or two outfits, and we'll go to someplace cool downtown, and we'll just take fun pictures. And I mean, SLR cameras. Like yes, you don't have to be a photographer. SLR cameras just make everything look so good. Like I just I I can't even. I can't even. I am so basic. <laughs> Tip number five is get a planner for the summer. Because I know some of you probably use agendas during the school year and then you ditch them during the summer, but you really shouldn't do that, my friends. Um, I get so many of you guys telling me, like, how do you do so much over the summer? Like, all I want to do is just lay in my bed and I never make plans with friends. Like, I'm just too lazy to, like, do anything, which makes so much sense. Like, I know so many people that, like, wake up at, like, 2 p.m. every day of summer and then half your day is literally gone. Like, that's just so point. I mean, I understand, like, you know, you want to sleep, but go to bed earlier and then wake up earlier and just, like, have more time to do stuff. Basically, what I'm trying to say is make plans with your friends for each week. That's what I do, and I get so much done during the summer. I've only been on summer for a little bit now, and I've done something every day because I make plans. So, um, I have this planner right here. I have a day designer, too, but it's almost ending up, and I like this one better for summer, I think. This is an XO planner, you guys. It is so cute. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think they have, like, an Instagram. Um, but basically, I haven't, I haven't really started using it yet, but I love the idea of it. I started a little bit. Basically, it's super cool. Um, they have, like, you write your schedule here so you can put your times. And it has different sections, and then it has a to-do section, a post-it. So this is, like, for, like, people on the internet, like, post your video or post your blog post or your Instagram. Don't forget, brilliant ideas, inspiration. So I wrote, get it, girl. Um, health. It also has a thing for water. So each time you drink a bottle of water, you, like, fill in a little bubble. And then I also have notes, like things that you need to, like just like random things that you want to write. I just think it's a super cute idea. You don't have to get this planner. I also have a day designer planner. They sell those at Target. Those are great. Um, but I just think it's so important. If you want to have a productive summer and you want to do things, maybe sit down Sunday night. Okay, what do I want to do this week? What's something fun and new and exciting that I want to do? And then text your friends. Be like, hey, are you free this day? Let's do this. So that when the day comes, you're like, you might be tired, but you're like, oh, like I made plans with my friends to go to an amusement park. And then you get up and do it. And it's so worth it in the end. Tip number six kind of goes hand in with the other one wake up earlier if you can um, I know I said if you can I naturally wake up at like 8 a.m. on the weekends unfortunately on a good day I might sleep until 11 a.m. but honestly if I wake up that late I'm like oh my gosh like you know I still need to have that like hour or two to like wake up so then by the time it's like 1 p.m. and it's just like my day's gone my day's gone so if you can get into a routine of like I know I stay up later on this during summer too but if you can get in a good routine of like waking up at like 8 or 9 let's go over 9 9 30 a.m. which gives you some time so like wake up make yourself breakfast like a healthy breakfast go do yoga or like go make some tea go on Pinterest for a little bit like have that like hour or hour and a half to yourself to kind of wake up and kind of start your day I just think it's really great to have a routine every morning or you know go get your favorite kind of coffee or just Something like that so every morning you have inspiration to get out of bed and start your day right because I wish I could do this during the school year but waking up at 6 a.m. is enough for me. I'm not going to wake up even earlier. Some people can do that. I just can't. Tip number seven is go on a kayaking trip or canoeing or paddle boarding. Um, you know, just look up areas around you like there's so many state parks or there's places where, you know, rivers. I love kayaking. You can wear your bathing suit. You can get a tan while you're doing it. Bring your GoPro if you have one. Go with friends. Put on your chakras actually. <laughs> got my chocos right here. They're the best. Go for a little kayak trip. Have some fun. Be a little adventurous. Go rock climbing if you want. Also, one of my new favorite things to do is grab my computer, some headphones, and go to a cool coffee shop. And um, there's a few different things I like to do just so it's like you're in a different environment so I can get inspired like personally for my YouTube or for like different Instagram photos or outfits. I like to go on Pinterest, put my headphones on, play some fun music, drink my latte, my artistic latte, take a couple pictures of it, and just have that whole aesthetically pleasing afternoon and just get inspiration for whatever it is. Um, whether I look at inspirational quotes, read articles, go on Huffington Post, BuzzFeed, like just kind of have that time of like, just like explore the internet and you know, just have fun with it. Also, I'm really into making playlists for music. Um, I just made a summer playlist on SoundCloud. So if you guys want to follow me on SoundCloud, it's I think soundcloud.com slash Danielle Marie YT. I always have the link to my SoundCloud down below. I also have a Spotify. Um, I have playlists on both. I just make playlists about my moods or whatever. So you can go follow those if you want. Um, but it's kind of fun to like 
like be at a coffee shop, have your fun headphones in and like look up different songs and like explore and make new playlists. It's, it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoy making it for you guys. I really hope this helps you guys in any way. Comment down below some of your favorite things to do during the summer. Again, I really hope this was helpful. If you liked any of these ideas, please let me know. I would be so happy to hear that. Um, but yeah, cheers to a good summer. I hope your summer's already off to a great start. Be safe, have fun. Take pictures for me, comment down below what you're doing this summer, I'm so excited, I love it, um, and I love you guys. So I will see you guys very soon for my next video, make sure to check out Spinlister, I'll have that link down below, um, I'm so excited to be working with them on this video, they're great. Yeah, I will see you guys very soon for my next video, bye guys!